Hello, my groovy friends. Today we will be reading Pete the Cat, Five Little Bunnies by Kimberly and James Dean. Let's get started. Pete the Cat, Five Little Bunnies by Kimberly and James Dean. One night, Pete was bunny sitting five little bunnies when all of a sudden, what do you think is going to happen? Five little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. Four little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Uh-oh. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. Mm, they got boo-boos. Three little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Oh no, he fell too. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. Two little bunnies hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Uh-oh, he fell down too. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies hopping on the bed. One little bunny hopping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Pete called the doctor and the doctor said, what do you think the doctor's going to say? Let's see. Straight to bed. So Pete and the five little bunnies hopped right into bed. Oh, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to go night, night. The end. That was an awesome story. Yay. Until next time, friends. Hello, friends. Today's story is Pete the Cat, Secret Agent by Kimberly and James Dean. Let's get started, friends. Pete the Cat, Secret Agent by Kimberly and James Dean. Look, can you spot Secret Agent Meow? He's the coolest spy in town. No one knows that even Meow's true identity is Pete the Cat. Not even Bob. Agent Mia is an expert at solving cases. Last year, he caught the ruby robber. My beaver necklace. Two weeks ago, he found the missing key to the town. You saved the town again. Yay, Pete. Agent Mia works in a top secret location. The only way to unlock the door is with his paw print. Inside, he has a lot of very groovy gadgets. Look at Agent Meow's underground headquarters. The Meow Mobile can take Agent Meow anywhere at lightning speed. It can turn into a car, a helicopter, and even a skateboard. Agent Meow also has a super cool spy watch camera. It looks like an ordinary watch, but with one click, it's anything but ordinary. He just created his own flying listening device so he can hear everything, even when he's not near. He calls it his secret catcher. Sometimes when Agent Meow is on a mission, he wears a disguise. Once Agent Meow coated himself in paint to blend in with a painting. Another time, he pretended to be a tree. A bird family built a nest on his head. He's a cat undercover. One morning, Agent Meow is flying his secret catcher when he hears a surprise message. Agent Meow can't tell who is talking because there is too much static, but he hears... Super secret, rendivious, 7 p.m. tonight. You know where to meet. Agent Meow is very intrigued. He 
needs to fine tune his secret catcher so he can hear better next time. He heads to the hardware store. He takes a shortcut through the park. Time is of the essence when you're a spy. Agent Meow spots a group of people whispering by the swings. Why would anyone come to the park and not play on the swings? Hmm, he wonders. He disguises himself so he can get closer. Tonight is going to be huge, says Squirrel. I really hope we can pull it off, says Octopus. What should I bring? Go ask Grumpy Toad, says Squirrel. He knows the plan. Grumpy Toad works at the library. Agent Meow knows exactly where to go next. The library is very quiet. So Agent Meow tiptoes around the bookshelves. Good thing he knows a secret hiding spot inside the bookcase. He pulls on his favorite book and it leads him to an underground hideaway. Finally, he spots Grumpy Toad whispering to Gus. He pulls out his secret catcher. Do we need anything else for tonight? No, that's all right. Turtle is already at the market. He's picking up stuff for me. Agent Meow knows he will never make it to the market before a Turtle leaves. At least not without his Meowmobile. Whoosh! Aha! Suspect Turtle spotted, says Agent Meow. Good thing he remembered to bring his old-fashioned binoculars. Looks like he is buying gallons of banana ice cream. But why is Callie there too? A.G. Meow turns on his secret catcher. He hears Callie and Turtle talking. I found Grumpy, Toad's fish sticks. Cool, now let's get going. We can't be late to Gus' house. Agent Meow checks his watch. He has to move fast. He hops on to his Meow mobile and zooms over. Whoosh! What could the secret meeting be about? Agent Meow wonders. He'll need the perfect disguise, one that will blend in. He tries several hats and even a wig. Suddenly, he gets the perfect idea. He will go as Pete the Cat. No one will expect him. Agent Meow tries to whistle and act as cool as he walks by Gus' house. Yet, he can't help but feel a little nervous. He walks up to the house. It seems quiet. Hmm, too quiet. Surprise! Everyone yells. It's a surprise birthday party for you, says Callie. We got you all your favorite food, like fish sticks and banana ice cream. How did you know it was my birthday? Asked Agent Meow. You can't keep a secret from us, says Gus. Pete the Cat may be able to keep his secret identity, Agent Meow hitting from his friends, but he definitely can't keep his birthday a secret. This is the best surprise party of all time. Happy birthday, Pete. Yay! The end. What a fantastic story. Until next time, friends. But don't forget to like and subscribe.